Okay, so we're coming round through uh, Rockingham Avenue here, coming down towards uh, the dual carriageway. And we're going to show you our uh, Gunnelswood Road underpass uh, route that they take on the particular test routes. turn right at the roundabout, so you need to make sure you've got plenty of time to get over. Now generally again what the examiners will say to you here, turn right at the roundabout and come off in the right hand lane on the new road. about turning right down towards the A1. Remember we're going to exit here but come off in the right lane of the two lanes. I'll bring you up to the roundabout uh, where you've got um, Laxo. A1 straight, but we're going to turn right towards Hitchin on the non primary route, local route. So, again, this is when you come around this roundabout, you've got the segregated lane to protect people that have come round from the A1 or from the Nedworth House direction, and they would go off round without having to give way. So, what we have to do is we have to come off in the right hand lane because of that segregated lane. to the speed limit which is or just under the speed limit which is 40 and you must look, look to get back in the left hand lane as soon as possible so you have to remember that as your highway node college or the highway code knowledge even. We're going to cancel our signal. And again generally when you're coming down here the examiner will give you a choice. He'll say you can either take the underpass or you can take the roundabout. Of course if you take the underpass it's a far easier option because you haven't got to give way to anybody at the roundabout. So once it's safe to move over, don't leave it too late. I might have just delayed the signal a little bit there, but we're okay, we didn't wait. Just a bit sweet, maybe maybe yeah. I'll try and move over more of a straight line. More gradually, okay, okay, yeah. So it's quite easy to break the speed limit as you're coming down the underpass. So Keep that in mind. And again, just remember your uh, dual carriageway rules here. You're always in the left hand lane unless you're overtaking or turning right. Well, in effect, we've overtaken because we're not using the roundabout. So, of course, when we come up the underpass, we need to move back into the left hand lane when it's safe to do so, but keeping the car near 40. Because obviously, if you slow right down, the people in the left hand lane will just go past you on the left. And what we're going to do is turn right at the roundabout, that's sometimes what the examiner will ask you to do, so of course we need to go back again. But you might say, what's the point in just keep changing lanes, why well, don't I stay in the right hand lane? Of course it's testing your knowledge of the highway code more than anything there. Okay, so that's the Garnelswood Road underpass.